This is the Ninja Dual Brew 12 cup coffee maker. In this video, you're gonna get my complete review after using this coffee maker for several months. Let's jump right in. Now we bought this coffee maker and it's not for a review or anything like that, but I saw that it dropped in price recently, now only 129 bucks. I really think that this is a great value in terms of coffee makers, so that's why I wanted to do this video. Now probably my favorite feature is the reservoir. So the removable reservoir where you put the water in is fantastic. I love that you can just pull that out easily and go walk over to the sink or wherever you're gonna fill it up. If you wanna use purified or filtered water, you can easily do that using this and then it simply clicks right back in. No spills, no mess, really nice to see and very easy to use as well. Now the craft is, I think, pretty good. There are some design elements that I wish were a little bit different, which I will get into in this video, but overall, I mean, it's a very solid coffee maker. I mean, it is, you know, it makes coffee. You can also do a single cup and you can see that little flip down part in the front here of the coffee maker, which is nice because you can, you know, just brew a single cup of coffee if it's, you know, early afternoon and you want to have just a single cup. So it is kind of grippy there. So the cup doesn't slide off nice attention to detail on the top of this single cup brewer. Now over here on the left hand side we have a couple really nifty things. First this spoon so it measures out you know if you want like it gives you some suggestions on there. I just like it because I don't have to get an additional spoon every morning when I'm scooping coffee in there so I just use you know a few scoops of coffee out of the bigger thing and it actually clips right there on the side which makes it super convenient. The other thing, you have a flip out frother, which is really nice. And you can see here on the top, there is like a little power button. So you just, you know, put some milk in there um, and, you know, put your cup underneath and you can push the button and froth away. So of course I don't have any milk in there right now. I'm just demonstrating. I will show you that later in the video and I will show you how easily that removes and can be rinsed. Now the coffee part, I can't wait to get eaten alive by all the, you know, coffee professionals down in the comment section. Um, the place where the actual coffee goes. So this coffee maker comes with this, you know, metallic screen kind of thing. Um, I find that, you know, it gets a little gritty in the bottom when we use this thing. So we do have like these little paper, you know, triangular shaped uh, coffee filters, really easy to find those at any major store. Um, and then those can go in there and then you can scoop your coffee in. So a tip that I do, and this is me personally, I wet the coffee filter a little bit. Again, can't wait to be eaten alive by all the professional coffee baristas. Um, and then I will put my coffee in and I'll show you why I do that. Really nice again with this little scooper here on the side, easily comes off and stores and just put a couple scoops in there of your favorite coffee ground, you know, I'm sure again, all these coffee people, oh, you don't grind your coffee every morning. No, we don't. Like <laughs> we have a life, we have more things to do. But this, uh, in terms of making coffee, this machine is able to do a really good job. Spoon goes right back there on the left side, super easy, put the coffee away. And then I will show you what it looks like. You slide this top close and it clicks and that's when you can turn on the machine. So what that looks like from the top is this, um, you know, this is obviously a hot surface. That's where the, you know, hot water goes in, but I just wet the coffee filter just a little bit so it doesn't stick on that mechanism when it is sliding forward. So you just have to have this slid all the way forward and it locks right into place, which is a very smooth, easy mechanism. Now, one of my biggest complaints about this coffee maker is the auto off or auto close. It's manual. So um, if you have to close and open versus some of the, you know, even less expensive than this, um, when you take out the craft, then it will automatically close. So that doesn't happen in here. So you can hit the power button and then you can use a delay feature, which is Nothing special to this coffee maker, but it is nice and I really like the controls on this coffee maker and I think that it's very easy to do. So you have a center dial and it's very intuitive. It's actually a lot like the air fryer. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link up to the Ninja air fryer here in the corner. So then you can set the delay, super easy. Pick your brew style um, and then the delay will show delay there and it'll go off at a certain time. So 
<laughs> this I press the power button, turn it off, and it's now blinking at me like, hey, idiot, you have it set for delay. So just showing you guys all the different features. So here's you press the power button um, and then you can change your brew styles. Now this particular model versus the model uh, that I've seen, I guess this particular one got discontinued versus the one that I found on Amazon, which of course that link will be down below in the description. They remove specialty, which again, I never use. So that's probably why they remove specialty, but it's exactly the same coffee maker. It's just, they remove that. So it's showing three brew styles, just so you guys know. Now, if I put this back, I'm gonna turn it off because I did press the clean button, which is nice. We put some white vinegar through here just to make sure that it is clean. Um, and so I can select the brew style. We like rich. Um, it's definitely a heartier taste. And then you just simply click start brew. Make sure the thing is open at the bottom, the little sliding thing, and this thing will just brew. You can see this beautiful time lapse here of the water getting sucked out of the reservoir and going right into the coffee pot. And the hot plate on here, I would say, keeps it really hot. So really nice to have fresh, hot coffee that stays hot, and I believe it is an auto off to about three hours. So of course my wife likes a little bit of sugar. So now I'm able to make her coffee, not too much sugar, just a little bit, so I'll show you. She just requires a little bit of sugar. Me, I am black coffee all the way, so I wanted to make her some coffee so I could show you guys. Of course, she needs some milk too with her sugar, but it gives a great way for us to show off this frother. So on this side here, you hold one hand with a cup, other hand um, at the top powering the thing, and you just, for me, move it around. Again, I'm gonna get eaten alive because I am not this fancy barista who is like super fancy with coffee. I just know that this coffee maker, I really like it and it works for me. And so if you're like most people and aren't, aren't psycho about coffee, then this is also gonna work for you. So can't wait for those awesome comments from all the people who are way better at coffee, I'm doing air quotes right now, than me um, in the comment section because I've, all the things I'm doing it wrong here. So after you're done frothing, um, you will see like there is milk on there, right? It takes like maybe 15 to 30 seconds. And what's really nice is you can just twist it off. I tap it on the cup here, but then I just go over to the sink really quick and I can just rinse this thing out. So it makes it super fast and easy in terms of like clean up. So even if you want, you know, you're feeling fancy and you want froth milk in your coffee this morning, then you can just rinse it out. And for me, you know, like maybe I'll throw it in the dishwasher once a week, but most days I just put it right back on there, lock it on and it goes flat again. Really nice. And you can see the beautiful froth that it did create mixed in that sugar right with that milk. Oh, I did get a drip down the side. So we'll just wipe that real quick. And it did a fantastic job. Now all that's left is to pour in your super hot coffee because it's been warming on the plate. So excellent coffee. Again, I really like the rich setting of this coffee, just so you guys know. Um, if you're interested in purchasing one of these, again, it just dropped in price. I think we paid 200 bucks for this thing and now it is only $129. So if you wanna purchase one of these, support the channel. It's not gonna cost you any extra and use the Amazon affiliate link down below in the description. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget push, push, to hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always, see you in the next one.